Good morning from the Kenilworth Brulu Road and we're on our way to somewhere this morning that we've never been to before and we're looking forward to having a delicious something afterwards but as we're driving along we know this stop and we wanted to pull over and show you isn't it just such a beautiful view check this out This is such a find, isn't it? <laughs> Elsa, it's absolutely beautiful. This is like one of the best state parts we've been in for a long time, don't yeah. you reckon? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's amazing. amazing. Bit chilly, but it's nice. It's brisk. It's br <laughs> brisk because, um, yeah, we're not used to that in Queensland, so it's lovely. Yeah, it's nice being able to wear a jumper. Yeah. Isn't it? It's um, about 12 degrees right now, and we're at the Amamore State Forest. Yeah. And it's, um, this is where um, macadamia trees started. Is or, it really? Oh, not started, but this is where they, yeah, the native originated. native ones, yeah, the native ones. Yeah, 30 million years ago or something like that in this area. All along, there's the thin strip up the uh, southeast of uh, Queensland into northern uh, New South Wales. Yeah, that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So we're surrounded by macadamia trees at the moment. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, native wild macadamia trees. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So Amamore is a little town. It's about 180 kilometres north of Brisbane or 20 kilometres southwest of Gympie. So we're lucky. From where we live, it's less than an hour's drive. Yeah. So beautiful. we've never been here before. No. We had no idea, did we? No. <laughs> Wish we'd come so earlier. Um, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautifully looked after. Yeah. It's so green. So lush. Very lush. Oh, it's Lots of bird life. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, we've had a bit of rain, like uh, Beth said before. So wow. the, um, the creeks are all flowing. Mm, it's a bit dodgy. It's a little bit dodgy. You go first. I'm a bit clumsy with things like this. Do you want me to go? Yeah, you go. <laughs> Watch it slippery. Okay, so we're doing the Amama walk and that's about one and a half kilometre round trip. And so far it's pretty easy couple of little slopes but nothing too strenuous anyway I need to burn off lots of calories because I'm having something super super delicious <laughs> after this on our way home um, let's keep going so you can see the marks in the tree here and these are the toe holes for climbing the tree when the Aboriginal people wanted to climb the bunya tree for bunya nuts that's what they did. They made those little toll ho marks so they could climb the tree easily and get the nuts. That's amazing, isn't it? That'd be hundreds of years old, that tree. I'll be honest, I'm feeling a bit nervous about crossing here without getting my feet wet. It might look like it, but there is a bit of a gap. And I'd love to hold the camera and show you, but I think I'm going to need my hands to balance. Just hang on a sec, let's see how we go. Yay, I made it. Thank goodness for these signs, otherwise I wouldn't know where I was going. Okay, so we just crossed the creek and we come across this sign and Paul says that it means to go up that way and he's gone up that way but I think it means to go like that way because that's the way it's pointing which kind of leads back to the creek. Yay, through the bushes we can see a sign but we've got to go back over the creek again. 
back getting wet. Cheese! Cheese! Cheese, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've crossed this creek a few times now, haven't we? Another fine mess you've got into. I kind of feel like the rangers are having a joke with us or something, making us go like cross the creek, up a hill, cross the creek, up a hill, down a hill. You think? Yeah, it's been a long time since we bushwalked, so um, a little bit challenging, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. in the way. It's fine. Here we go again. I don't feel so bad because my feet and my socks and my shoes are already wet but paws are dry. You can do it. No I'll be fine. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is love. You're doing a great job. Keep coming. I'm actually hot. Yeah, me too. <sighs> well, we thought we'd gone on the wrong circuit track, but I think we're back on track now and uh, it's starting to go downhill um, but a beautiful walk a bit rugged a bit challenging at times especially for our age group but um, the view when we got up the top was spectacular and uh, yeah it was worth every every bit of effort well I think we actually got lost a couple of times we went the wrong way and that's why it took a lot longer and that's why I went up and down so many hills I think yeah. I did already say that, didn't I, folks? Oh, did you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, so far behind him. Well, we're nearly at the end of our walk. And if you love antique furniture or you have antique furniture, look away now because this might give you the heebie-jeebies. That's because this is a white ant nest. And if you have antique furniture or any sort of furniture, you'll know what sort of damage white ants can do. Okay, so the walk we did was 1.5 k's. But according to my Fitbit, we actually did a bit over 4Ks. So that's why we look like this. A little bit tired. But that's okay. Beautiful drive back. And oh, I think I've earned my morning tea. I'm so excited. And I have to thank one of our viewers who reminded me, I knew that the Kenilworth Bakery made these donuts where they hollowed out the inside. I think they line it with Nutella and then they pour your coffee inside. And um, I could really do with a coffee in something sweet right now after that massive walk. And so I've come to get that. So thank you to that viewer who sent me a special message and said, Beth and Paul, I reckon you'd really like this. And you know what? I think you're really spot on. I think we're really gonna enjoy this. It's so indulgent, isn't it? Looks delicious. What do you think, Paul? <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, I've got my serviettes ready to go in case I make a mess. Oh man, that's the best. <laughs> that's so good. Take a bite. No, I don't want to bite the cup because <laughs> the coffee might spill out. We'll come back to it then. Hey, yeah, come back to it, how? Okay, so I've worked out. It's not completely hollow. It's just hollowed a little bit. Just has a little bit of coffee. Maybe four, four or five, six of coffee. And now I'm down to the donut part that's got Nutella, which looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yum. Mm. That walk was really worth it, you know. <laughs> mm. That's so good. That's amazing. Good? Mm. Very good. It's delicious. Not a lot of coffee in it, but it was good. Pretty delicious? Mm. Really good. Cool. I'm, yeah, really enjoyed it. 
Lots of Nutella. Lots of sugar rush after our walk. Is it worth eight bucks? No. Is it good for like a one-off treat? Yep. Perfect. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Me too. See you next week. Bye. Oh, and my feet are dry now. <laughs> See ya. See ya.